Alright everyone, for this video, I'm actually using the Tear Maker, which I don't know if I'll leave a link in the description because I don't know if it's going to save it, but uh, we are doing a tier list for the competitive parts. Or no, well just all the parts that have been released in Sparking that are new, my thoughts on Sparking overall, and just sort of going through it. We're going from chips, to then after, I guess straight after that is tips, then it's rings, then uh, at the end is chassis. Hey there, before we continue with this video, make sure you are subscribed to the channel and you have bell notifications for all uploads. Now I have gotten this helped by a good friend of mine, uh, Nix, where he's basically told me cap or no cap. So keep in mind the context too of competitive. Some things can be really fun to use, but it doesn't mean it's competitive. That being said, the only thing I will skip in this is the chips. I only be going over the chips that have the metal in them and I will also factor in things like metal chip cores or whatever. I would say S is super, super good, or little to no flaws. A is pretty good, some flaws. B is just sort of like, it's fine, not really good, not really bad. And uh, C is where I would say it's kind of getting bad, and then after, well, there's D there, but I'm not gonna use D because there's no point. D is just gonna be if I really despise a part or something. That being said, uh, let's get started. Uh, first one off the bat is Solomon. Solomon, <laughs> very, very good, but it's, I think it's at its peak with a metal chip core in it. I have used Solomon with a metal chip core in it. It is so far the best right uh, sparking chip, but I would say with the release of Lucifer 2 and Hyperion uh, 2, it's also got to be, or even Lucifer, you could also consider Lucifer 1, but uh, the, the sort of gap at, that it was at the start is not as big now and honestly it could go either way depending on it. That being said, I think it's safe to say Hyperion 2, Helios 2, and what else? I'll put Lucifer 1 here. I was considering, now Lucifer 2 is going to be here just because it's been a lot of debate between uh, 1 and, uh, one and uh, 2. And honestly, I don't really know. Personally, I would just have 1 and 2 at the same as A. But I'll, 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 I would say possibly yes, but right now I'll leave it in A. Uh, then after that, we've got Spriggan and Diabolos. Again, solid chips. Obviously, since there is Helios 2, you don't really have to use a Spriggan or Diabolos for like a main one, but obviously if you want to have a secondary left combo, like let's say your main one is Rage, so you could probably have, or let's say your main one's Mirage, so you use Helios 2. Then for a secondary, you could put like Rage on Spriggan or Diabolos. Personally, I don't know what I would pick between the two, but let's get that one out of the way. So I'm going to be putting Brave in S. Now, I'm going to be considering the only factor with 2A. I think if it's without 2A, I would possibly just leave Bra uh, Brave uh, the ring in A. But I feel like S specifically, just because 2A does go really well with uh, Brave, and I feel like it's fair to put it there. As well, Rage is in the same case as Brave, where I would put it in S and possibly A if we don't consider the 3A chassis pairing. Uh, Rage is like the best. It really is the best uh, with 3A. It's at the top of the meta. It's really at the top. Uh, moving forward from there, there is, where is Tempest? Tempest is also gonna be an S. Tempest is really good when it's not awakened, which is very funny because you would think it's good when it's awakened, but uh, it's actually not, it has less stamina. There's also, um, there's also just the issue, which is just like personal, but I really hate it. It's where the awakening doesn't really work as you think it would. Sometimes you can get it where it's kind of like, like 50, like half awakened and not awakened, and that really hurts in the battles and you can get outspun. Uh, with that being said, I would also like to throw in a really new one, but this one deserves it, Hollow. Hollow is very strong with its attack. It is a very heavy ring, and I would honestly put it at the top uh, for sparking. I do think there is stamina issues, but I feel like the attack makes up for it, and you definitely could get some good combinations. If you really want to be nitpicky, you could put it in A, but I, I feel like S is pretty fair. Moving forward, now Jet is just released. I would probably say that if I'm only considering it against lefts from the tests I've done with Drift and whatever, I would probably say it's fair to put it in A. I would maybe argue B if it's against rights, 
The issue is that Jet, while it's a new ring, it's outclassed in weight by a lot of the, the rings that are right here. And it's very thin too, so I feel like B probably, if I want to be very critical, but I'll consider A for lefts, or you could just say B+. Uh, moving forward from there, what else do we got? After that, there is Mirage. Mirage is a very good ring for spin stealing. Really small though, <laughs> which is really weird, but it's really effective. This is the best that Fafnir has ever been. Uh, moving on to the best limit break, it is Volcano. Volcano is very, I would say it's the best of the limit breaks. It's uh, very, I would say it's not really S. It's very limited by the fact that the limit breaks can't have the chassis customization. It, I feel like it has like some good stamina. The limit breaks kind of whatever for how it works, but I feel like how this shape is, it really helped uh, with the whole original King Helios gimmick and really made it something where, because it's so rounded, it has very good life after death. For obviously Fafnir spin stealing, this one's spin stealing factoring it in. Uh, moving forward, obviously, world. Just both of them go there. I don't know why I had the two separate renders. Uh, same spin, I'm not too sure. I do know they're pretty good opposite spin, uh, to memory anyways. Plus, they, they also have the burst blockers, which helps quite a bit. Uh, think about this, if you have a single chassis combination with World, those burst blockers, I would say, definitely, uh, help with the disc moving and, uh, hitting it there. Although it is technically just meant for the chassis. Uh, last one is, I would say, Infinite Shield and Infinite Sword. Uh, I would say these two, even though, yeah, these two make sense for A because obviously you'd probably pick Tempest because it outclasses it in weight. I feel like Attack has a good shape for its hits and the defense one, the shield one, is just very good for like blocking off. Again, a rounded shape, which makes sense because it's rounded too. It's, I would say, it, it, it's good, it's good. They did Infinite really well. Achilles has got some respect after the, the abomination that was uh, Union, which Union was okay, but I, I just didn't like how they handled it. Moving over to B, we have got The End. Uh, the End, I feel, in, uh, against Opposite Spin, uh, it's all right. It's, it's good at equalizing. I don't really know if the Limit Break really helps, because the whole gimmick was supposed to be when it Limit Breaks, it parries off the attacks. I don't think it's that effective. <laughs> But uh, it, it is kind of just whatever. Uh, speaking of actually uh, before that, which we had infinite, I would probably just put infinite without the sword or without the shield uh, right at B, just because, you know. But uh, I just put the sword and the shield there just because I didn't want to confuse. Because if I put the infinite ring render, people are going to get confused. But yeah, that's why we put infinite uh, normal without anything B. I think also in B, I would put Abyss. I don't think Abyss is really that bad. It's not really that good either. It's it's just okay. It's got uh, a better shape than uh, I would say Death has. Death is just disappointing. Uh, it's it's kind of it kind of fixes the issue with Erase, where it doesn't have the blades kind of just stupid uh, sticking upwards, and. I feel like it's okay. I don't really think it's that good, but it's just, it's not that bad either, if that makes sense. I also think uh, the same idea with Curse. Curse has the whole gimmick with the rollers and everything. It's just okay. There's not really any purpose to use it. It's just like fine. Uh, afterwards, I'm very debating on this, but there is first and there is uh, super. I was considering just leaving them in B, but I might put them in C just because they're not really special with the gimmick and I feel like they're kind of outclassed when you look at the bigger picture of uh, all these things. Uh, moving forward from there, uh, Death. Jeez, I might put Death. Uh, death might actually go in D. I hate Death so much. I'm gonna actually keep D for the ones that I think were such a disappointment. Probably Death could be argued for C. It's just that Death doesn't really have that good of a shape. It just kind of has the shape of Super and First, and it's such a downgrade from Master. I don't know what they were thinking with Death. Probably they just wanted to sell uh, two prize base, so they thought, oh, what do we do for Diabolos? And they did that, but God, that was awful. Uh, speaking of awful, let's also throw in Variant. <laughs> Variant is definitely the worst ring in Sparking, I would say. The worst right ring, at least. I'm pretty sure it's the lightest. 
Uh, I don't know what they were thinking with Variant. I mean, it looks cool. It's got that weird seal shape. It's, I don't know, it's, there's no point to using Variant. It's not even like, oh, Variant small, but maybe it has a little bit of metal on it or a little bit of rubber. It's like, no, it's just, it's just, just small. Uh, I would probably put King in C. I feel like that's fair to put King, and I'd probably put Burn in D, and I'll put Glide in C. Now, the reason why I have Glide in C and not higher, maybe B, is just because TT, for some reason, just thought the stupidest thing where they thought, oh, uh, by the way, uh, for some sparking rings, it'll actually raise the thing and it'll be different because when it raises it, it it's going to be unique and all, and oh, it's so cool. Yeah, Glide has bad burst resistance. If Glide didn't have that stupid problem where it kind of just raises, what is it, the chip, I'm pretty sure? then it wouldn't burst as much and probably could be used in double chassis and I would I would argue that if it didn't have that issue maybe even A maybe even A maybe B if I wanted to be fair though uh, moving forward from that uh, we are going to go to chassis since that is next that being said 1D is in D uh, just, just, it's just super light I mean it has a cool shape but it's just it's worthless to use Oh, also, I don't know if I mentioned burn yet or if I already said it, but yeah, burn is an awful limit break. Uh, it's a serious downgrade. While you can argue that using the Co uh, limit break disc and Lucifer 2 could probably help it from being used, I feel like the best thing to describe it is a glass cannon, uh, where I'll probably show up the definition. Yeah, it's just disappointing. Uh, 1S is definitely going in S. It is a very, very good single chassis, good uh, distribution of where the metal is for the weight. And it's, it's solid. That being said as well, I was thinking of putting 4A in the same thing as 1S, but I will just put it in A just because, well, I do think that actually the weight is uh, pretty close to 1S. Or in some cases, I've seen people where they have a little bit more than 1S. I'm just not too sure if it does better overall because the gimmick with 4A is that kind of has a little bit of an imbalance but I would probably say S would be fine. I'll leave it in S for right now but I'd probably like leave it at A. Uh, speaking of chassis, uh, 2D is subjective but I gotta say that I'm putting 2D in A. Now 2D will probably be, I would even argue 2B is B if it's same spin. So if it's like a right against a right or a left against a left, 2B is not that useful or 2D, excuse me, sorry, 2D. Uh, 2D's gimmick is the whole rubber blades thing. I think when it's awakened, it does better same spin, but worse opposite spin. To memory, anyways, from the videos that I've done. But if it's like an opposite spin battle, I could say it's A. The whole idea is that the tongues is hitting it, and I, I feel like it's fine. It's just, the issue is just really rage in 3A, and it just counters it too hard, but I feel like A is okay. I wouldn't say B. Uh, speaking of S, it is, well, yeah, let's get this out of the way. 2A and 3A are definitely in S tier. The combinations of uh, with Brave and Rage are insane. Uh, the three thick rubber blades on 2A, super good for stamina. Rage, its upper attack with 3A is amazing. I'm also going to be throwing up 2B here. I feel like 2B is really cool. A pet peeve, though, is I don't understand why they didn't just have it where 2B could just switch between fixed and uh, free spin. Instead, the gimmick is where on certain rings, which even then it wasn't really that big of a deal because it's very limited free spin for what rings can, but it'll free spin for certain rings and it'll be fixed in an attack blade for some rings. But I feel like S is pretty fair. Uh, that being said, uh, what, it, what else do we got? Uh, we've got 2S in A. 2S I feel is super good for stamina. I was going to say the teeth suck, but it's a double chassis, so it doesn't really matter too much if the teeth are bad. I feel like 2S has a very good shape, reminds me of Cross for like life after death. Uh, moving forward in the B, it is just going to be uh, 1A and 1B. And uh, I feel like this is just like fine, you know, the shapes have not really aged that well. You could use them, maybe some combinations and maybe it works, but I feel like when you compare it to the rest of the options, it's just better to use those. Uh, speaking of discs, uh, wheel is amazing. Dear God, they really snapped when they did wheel. It's really good life after death. It's just, it's heavy and it's got such a round shape that it's just so good at spinning, like for a long period of time. Uh, now for the limit break discs, uh, I, I, I'm gonna probably put Co like, I'll probably put Co like 
probably put Ko in B, and I was just considering just the limit breaks, and I'll, I'll just leave like A for the both of them. So Ko is just lighter than the two of them, so I feel like B is kind of fair, right next to the, the end. Uh, Cho and O, now there's this whole thing where like the disc uh, activates the limit break differently depending on how much it turns. Yeah, I'm gonna be honest, like Ko, I, I, I'm just gonna leave it there because I don't really want to get into the debate of that. Uh, Axe, I feel like Axe, if you go to the older formats, it's maybe a lot more useful because it's lighter than Wall. So there's not really any point to using it. And there's also no point to be using Axe. In the standard formats, like with the current meta, there's no point to use Axe. You have a wheel, you have so many other options. Maybe for the older stuff, it's really good. But I think in the case of standard format, I feel like B is kind of fair for it. It is a definite upgrade from Vortex. Uh, going over now to our last part, performance tips, which this should not take too, too long. Uh, going over to performance tips, uh, I'm going to put evolution uh, dash in S. Where is destroy dash? Where is it? Uh, destroy dash. Whatever, where destroy dash is also in uh, S. It's probably not loading it, but uh, I'd probably put zone plus Z actually in A. Uh, now, I'm gonna put, ex now the exceed, exceed dash on its own is A, but exceed, the plus X attachment downsgraded a tier to like B. It's just not that good of an attachment and it's really, really dumb how they did it. Like, I don't understand what they were thinking. I really just don't understand. Really was not a good idea for the plus X attachment. I would probably put charge dash and I think A and I'd probably put C for charge metal just because it has a weak spring. Drift goes in S, Mobius goes in S. I feel like wave, I would probably leave wave. Would I put wave in A? I'd probably put wave in B. Uh, afterwards, universe, probably the same thing B. Just is in D for sure. Just is horrible. Really, really bad. Really, really bad. Horrible life after death. It just was a poor idea for the tip. Uh, moving over to the other stuff. Uh, high Zephyr. High Survive. High Defense. I'm just going to leave them in D. They're just not needed. I'm going to put High Blow. Should I put it? No, I'm just going to leave them up there. I'll maybe leave High Excel and High Jaggy here because I've seen the potential in these attack combinations. But uh, that's kind of it. So obviously Destroy Dash is an S. Uh, I don't know why I didn't load up the Destroy Dash image that I had. I will probably just uh, put Destroy Dash there in the Infinite Ring through Photoshop at the end for the final image. But just to give some final thoughts, I feel like this is pretty fair to go review. I think all of these are pretty fair placings. Uh, the high drivers are just here just because they're very easy to destabilize and they have no use in the standard format. Maybe in older formats they do, but not in standard. Just while it's a little bit too early to judge, I feel like we've already seen enough. Like, it, it's it's not good. It was really a miss by TAT. 1D, too light. The glass cannon of burn. Variant, again, very light. Death, just a bad shape. Charge metal, weak spring. Zone, we've got the better version of zone. Uh, yeah, this is, I would say, this is pretty fair overall. I don't really think I missed anything or really anything that's that important. I will be reviewing this uh, before, but uh, I will probably leave some visuals as I'm talking about it, but this uh, was a lot of fun to do. So definitely let me know your thoughts in the comments, and thank you for watching, and have an amazing, amazing day.